somebody said that the only king uh, we acknowledge is King Kalala. <laughs> and these are the revolutionary statements that people make off the cuff that you don't know have much significance. Like uh, in America, the hip hop community started saying earlier in the 90s that uh, the only Christopher we acknowledge is Wallace because uh, Christopher Columbus was masquerading as the one who discovered America as if there were no people who are living in America. Yeah? It's almost like how as Kenyans we have allowed our national assets to be named after colonial forces like Lake Victoria. Why is it named? Uh, weren't there before the explorers landed there? Weren't there people living there, inhabitants? So when they started, the, and it started off as a joke, uh, the only Christopher we acknowledge is Wallace. Eh? And during the Black Lives Matter, it became so pronounced that now they started the uh, they're demolishing and bringing down statues of uh, Christopher Columbus and other leading slave traders because all of these guys were masquerading as explorers, but they were really slave traders. They were expansionists. They were these are land grabbers, glorified land grabbers. So, uh, in in the same uh, and and uh, and during the Black Lives Matter, because it was spearheaded by the young people, uh, other than now the BLM movement was infiltrated. You, you know, with this activism. And these activists, you can never trust them. At the end of the day, they are going to sell their soul to the highest bidder. All over, even BLM was infiltrated. I mean, Candace Owen has always been all up in their grill. But the young people, the spirit was so rife, was so bubbling. Yeah, within, uh, I remember the most poignant, uh, the most poignant uh, banner I saw with somebody who was saying, "We are not our ancestors. We'll fuck you up." So the the, the young gen generation eh, after the boomers. I mean, uh, the, the tragedy is that you will acquire the same traits as boomers. You will be as stupid as your uh, stupid parents and retarded parents and grandparents. You are going to be like those idiots who used to fold the newspaper, put it here. Eh, that the gospel and vanish truth these guys never used to invest in other sources of, of information never used to read books there was still even during the more year even during the height of you know kleptocracies and uh, the, the sportism uh, the, there were still packets of dissent there were still people who were talking against the system they were but they were not given uh, airtime they were not given even the platforms because everyone had been sold in the whole nyaoism eh? you you are coming out you find old bastards eh? with lapels with moise uh, portrait over there and they were singing can you ju, 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 zaidi if your father did that he's an idiot of epic proportion so you didn't you don't need to be following the ways of those people they have proven that we have given them 60 years to uh, turn this economy around we were at par with the asian tigers with singapore well with south korea we were Pie in the 60s, those guys have taken a quantum leap. What are we doing here? We are grappling with issues that uh, eh, mundane issues like uh, petty issues, water. We are dealing with people, Kenya power. They want to steal your hard earned money. Eh? That is their the, the height of their thuggery. They have they are not creative. The minds within the boomer setup or even within younger people who are fashioned like boomers you know they are young people who have uh, they have stayed so much with those old people i'm seeing in kikuyu there are all these kikuyu uh, groupings and th they are being taught how to be stupid they, so that we can have a new a fresh generation a fresh consignment of idiots uh, voting machines robots who will continue with the legacy of uh, <laughs> deplorable voting decisions you you see we the more we try to change the more we try to tell people that you can be within your culture but you don't you you, you don't have to subscribe to uh, uh, whatever they are telling you it's almost like they want to program you you remember these are old guys these are spent cartridges they have nothing new to offer in the information age we are calling it the age of the aquarius you cannot be relying on uh, wisdom uh, outdated wisdom you have, must be speaking progressive issues uh, uh, while retaining the, your cultural identity so you don't have to follow some some of these old bastards yeah, who are masquerading as elders. Why, why are they elders? Can they show us what they have created? Can they show us?
Meaning there has to be tangible evidence that they have been progressive ever since uh, their childhood. There has to be uh, a historical trail or pattern of progression. But now, just because somebody has started a group and then you call it, I don't know what, the, 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 the Kikuyu guys are lost. They are getting lost by the day. But anyway, that's, uh, that's their problem. We don't have time for their bullshit. Uh, I was talking about Kenya Revenue Authority and Kenya Revenue Authority the other day they, uh, it's almost like somebody drew uh, my attention to the fact that every Monday we have to be gaslighted that uh, they, they, there's something that has to be used to trigger us and then obviously it starts with Twitter because Twitter is the, is the platform that the government and all the propagandists have properly infiltrated and then now it gets so many retweets and then immediately it gets now into the small blogs small blogs you know the kenyans the tukos and all these other places and and then finally it gets to the mainstream media and by wednesday and thursday we have our attention has been distracted from so many uh, so so many uh, scams and scandals uh, and somebody drew my attention that every tuesday i should analyze the scam of monday yes <laughs> monday uh, gaslighting monday because this is what they do which is what they did with kra they created a fictitious scenario that i don't know people will be i don't know uh, uh, at the airport and whatnot and you know, we have seen these attempts we have seen even that scanner at the arrivals but, but this is the same KRA that steals. I'm telling you, we, what we need right now, first of all, is that we need to get our activism uh, back on track. Because uh, you know the problem is people listen to the Kenyan oligarchs. Kenyan oligarchs and Kenyan billionaires are stupid beyond measure. They think that activism, they think that uh, doing you know analysis of laws and everything, they think that it's beneath them because they've made so much money. Uh, but they don't know that wealth is you know we have seen people's wealth we have seen people who are rich and just by the stroke of one pen they become poor i mean uh, one law can condemn an entire industry into uh, because now is the importers they go they pass laws and everything we saw that with pius ngogi pius ngogi was a billionaire the few times i had met him he was like the the guy was nobody would have thought that he's gonna go broke yeah, because he was the, the the top dog in macadamia the top dog in coffee and these are people he was being paid in dollars so he was earning a lot of money and then suddenly he had taken a loan and then the bank starts playing around with the loan and then shortly after the bank wants to repossess his money this is a guy who was a billionaire ever since the more era and suddenly he's being forced now to uh, chop off a part a parcel of his land so that he can recover a debt from the bank a bank uh, and you know uh, our debts, our or our banks are operating with a strange interest rate regime dictated by the IMF and World Bank who have designed laws and who have influenced uh, these charlatans, these uh, street archings, we can call them street archings of the IMF and the World Bank, uh, Kamau Thuge, uh, Professor Njogun Andongo, they think that they are serving or they are being uh, ob uh, obedient uh, servants of the white master. But in, in essence, they are street urchins. Have you ever seen those street urchins who uh, collect waste paper and then they take it and then they are paid a small fee? At the end of the day, they are still street street urchins. So Professor Jogun Andongo and Kamau Fuge will never be given honorary citizenship by America just because he uh, complied with the World Bank and IMF uh, and uh, bent over backwards to destroy the Kenyan economy on their behalf. So the interest rates and the banking cartels how they are destroying local enterprises is all a, a western construct is all a, uh you know is all by design to destroy the kenyan economy and they ha they are using these are these are black black mascots of white depravity they are using these two people yeah and and, and now so we, we didn't expect that people like pias ngogi would be auctioned or would be would be in debt but this is what happens when people uh, you you sleep like this one minute and you're taken over but you, you know when i look at elon musk elon musk bought twitter to preserve the freedom of uh, of speech because he was seeing that even them even within his class of oligarchs and Forbes billionaires, they want to suppress free speech because they want to manufacture consent. Uh, they, they want to make sure that uh, they want to remain dominant and to remain dominant, they don't see uh, or they don't envision uh, a situation where they, we, are, we are coexisting. They only know about primitive accumulation. That's why during the COVID period, uh, because they were unable to compete with people on, a, on, a, on an equal footing, all they did was now create a lockdown, create all these uh, laws, 
uh, so that they can uh, and if you look during the lockdown period that's when we had the biggest redistribution of wealth from the working class to the oligarchs so it's the same in uh, elon musk is one of the ethical can we say billionaires unlike the kenyan ones who think that activism uh, advocacy is beneath them that's why they are suffering right now and you're going to see more and more uh, because you're being taken as fools by this government